Okay, back. Ready to go fight that final boss now. I think this has to be the final boss, right? Like, it can't be anything else. And the head. Oh. I'm sad that she was in it. Sucks. Beta. Um. Chest armor, Middle Knight, Beta. Slightly strengthens attacks following a dodge roller. As well as damage attack. Oh! That's cool. Cross. Chalk white cloak and surcoat symbolize the honor of the Needle Knights. Kindly make love fashioned us as his needles to quell all or to weigh all. Okay. Keep moving. I had a don't think. It is always suffering. So fucking funny looking. Ugh. You can see my head a little bit. Oh shit. I Righteous tarnished. That was an astounding battle. Yeah, it was. Sure. Now I suppose this leaves only one. But in truth, I cannot calm my quivering. It's quivering. Changing a god is no small matter. Ask about Dolly. I'm afraid I underestimated the lad. Appearing frail in both I mean, body and mind, I don't think you I are. presumed he'd be like to stumble upon the field of He's battle. He's kind of weak. What a fool I was. He serves another master, but Satyolier performed magnificently. Who does he serve? Perhaps he too quivers with anticipation. It's quivering do now. We. Ask about Moog's death. Oh. Something you want to get on Yeah, we chest. murdered Moog. Well, you needn't worry. It was you, wasn't it? Who defeated Lord Yeah, Moog. I killed them. Fear not. I bear no grudge against you. His eminence was felled in an honorable duel. And such are the risks. Yeah, we need to put together the Elden Ring. Besides, what right have I to complain? I blame the enchantment more than anything. Because it was mind controlled. We will have our victory. I swear upon my blood. Oh dear. Righteous time, I swear upon. Roger. <laughs> Bad. Look at this. See something. Can I get a better Ash of War than that? Warfrost Stomp. Old Star Fist is kind of sick though. Probably don't want to do Holy here. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Turn back, therefore. God. It's a pretty view. Oh, it's the Dialier. 
Cure Blood Knight on Spash. I think if I summon anyone, it'd be on Spash. I don't really like Dolier. And like, it makes their health, like the enemy's health pool so high. Will ever be praised in song. Radon. It's the man, the myth, love, legend. Radon. Now, the vow will be honored, and my lord brother's soul will return. Was oh, talking about Godwin? So that he may be. Oh no, he's talking about Radon. So he brought back Radon's soul. <laughs> brought back his body. Brought back everything. And he's mind controlled him. And I'm guessing this is like the non like scarlet rotted version of him. Oh, he is. Because we fought like a weakened version of Radon, and it took like seven or eight like summons to kill him. Oh god. Radon is the actual final boss. Of course it is. Like, normal Radon, not like going through dementia. Rotting version. Oh god. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh god. Got you, bitch. Well, thank you for praising my message at that time. Oh, my God. Not even a. Oh my god. We made it to second phase, first try? Really? That's pretty good. That's not bad. We're still in a lot of trouble. Don't get me wrong, but... Lord Brother... It's Mikola. <laughs> At long last you are returned. Uh-oh. Mind control shit. And my promised consort, Radan. So are you like fucking him? Your brother? That's what consort means, right? Oh god. How do I dodge all of that? Oh god. Oh, I'm 
Okay. See what they mean. Not easy, easy. Oh shit. Okay, I need to change up my gear a little bit. We don't need fire <coughs> damage negation anymore. That's just a wasted slot at this point. Where's the braid? The golden braid? I think we need that. We need that. Yeah, he's terrifying. It like does raise, but the taking more damage, like, it just becomes terrible. Man. Yeah, I don't want to summon for Oh shit. So what we're going to do is this. Mike Ehrman Trout. Hell yeah, dude. Um. Hold on. Let me change. Let me um. I have. Hold on, hold on. Don't I have. Reusable. Oh, these are all reusable. Oh shit, I wish I knew that. Spiritual explosion, explosion consuming sprite dwelling with sprite stone. Okay. 
games. Probably need this. Put that in. And then do we want another thing put in there? The grease isn't that good. And can we remove this? Because we don't need anti-dragon effect. There's obviously no dragon there. Oh shit, there's only one person in. Summon the boys. I need your help. Help me win. I'm all done with this game at this point. I need all of your helps. Alright. away from the door so he doesn't just oh shit stop hurting him Oh, we actually are doing it. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't care. I'll cheat on this fucking boss. It's okay. We can skip. I don't know how to dodge that. Still confused how to dodge all of this. Something happened to him. Oh, he bled.
No, how do I dodge this? How do I don't, I don't have any heals. Oh no. Oop. No. <sighs> Damn. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? But I'm summoning. Here, what we'll do is this. I think we'll switch off of that. Can I look at Oak's Great Rune and see exactly what that does? It's just too many items, man. Oh, then no. Let's just get use God tricks, I guess. Whatever. God tricks is better. I really don't know. I look at my yeah also this is better against holy I think it's just generally better technically what about Use the Verdius there. Oh. Went to fucking half fat rolling. We can't fat roll. That's not good. Gonna do it. Don't know what that even means. Sure. I like your shield though. Thank you for helping me. I just want to beat this game. Hey! Um, hello. Bloodborne PC. Yeah, Bloodborne PC. We love Bloodborne PC. Maybe Bloodborne PC will help me beat the game. That's good.
Oh, I got a bloody finger coming. We've actually done a ton of damage to him already. Bloodborne PC, you're all my only hope. No! Oh, it was such a good attempt, though. We've got it. I know we have it. We just have to get the, the right people <laughs> getting way better than me. I want Bloodborne PC again. Not Siri. Atran, yeah, we'll get you. I want Bloodborne PC so bad. Do your thing. Run away. Uh-oh. 
Hell yeah. Fuck you, Radon. Fuck you. Hey! Hi. Bye bye. Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. Remembrance of Radon, concert of Mikola hewn into the scatter tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Eternally used to gain a great bounty of runes. In their childhood, Mikola saw in Radon a lord, his strength and his kindness, that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted. So Mikola made his heartfelt wish that Radon would one day be his king con. Um, excuse me, you guys are brothers. That's weird. Let us go together. Sick. Good job. Dung. Like, I know I probably should have tried to spend more time on it, but, like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of done with this game. <laughs> Behold, God. Is that it? Thanks for praising my message, but... Dead. Wait, what's this? Something? Touch memory. Did we get one of Mikola's I think so. I think that was braid was actually from Mikola. We got that I was wearing. I'll make the world a gentler place. Okay. That explains uh, motivation. Circlet of light. The circle of light which adorned Mikola's head as he returned in divine aspect he began to fade into nothingness. It really boosts intelligence, faith, and arcane while also boosting the power of Mikola. The circle was to be the very foundation upon which Mikola's age of compassion and age of compassion built. Could it ever come to pass? So one last level? And I don't think it matters. I don't think we're gonna get another. Oh, we are so close to 69. Too bad. So that's it, huh? Eight of Divinity. Wait, I could talk to these guys? Oh shit. Oh! <gasps> Died. Alright, 
Uh, cleaves two enemy flame blade summoned from the side of the hill. Produces blood flame blade from the lunges at it. Marked it different from the finesse finesse sword play of the Dina. This is an aggressive last resort of an incantation that gave rise to Ansbosch fans some reputation. Signature weapon of pure blood knight Ansbosch, victoriously keen and slender scythe made for combat. The obsidian edge relies not upon trickery to fill its violent purpose. Skill alone it can rip and rip bows. Bl blossoms of red of the battlefield. Sick. <clears throat> Blood oath and dynastic skills. Okay. Um, Ansbosch understood that keeping his oath to his old master was not a, an act of logic, nor would it bear any justice. It was for three reasons he was unable to lecture. Of a quiet, wise old beard. I didn't realize it was a mask that made him look. But an old fear lurked beneath, together with the cold, unflinching discipline that once home. No employed to enhance blood oath and dynastic skills. Silver hair is arranged in the same style as St. Trina's, increasing arcane. Additionally, countless needles were to the exterior, apparently for a talismanic effect. Silver here is arranged in the style of St. Trina. This once, Dolier was granted the sweet repose of velvety sleep. The remainder of his days would be spent attempting to recapture it. The sealed weapon used by Tholier of a design that are generally favored by poison wield dark subtle purple. Like St. Trina, who blossomed in the deep purple and you should go visit St. Which poison is secreted from the within which sends its victims. That's that is the game. Yeah, St. Trina's still here. Huh. I have a lot of thoughts. But first, before anything else, I just wanna talk St. Trina one last time. Oh shit. St. Trina's blossom. Oh, I can't talk. St. Trina's life withered and fell, as fleeting as the seasons. At her last, she left a single water lily. Lily boosts his max FP. Despite the velvety purple hue, the flowers in no way poisonous. Merely blooms in quietude. So I can't talk. Dude, it's negative versus Pierce. That's crazy. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit out of this. Here. So so I just want to... It's only been 40 minutes to speak a little bit. Um, I think this was great. I think value-wise, this felt like a whole... It felt like Elden Ring 2 did not feel like deal. It's it felt like its own like semi sequel, kind of like a Miles Morales, but like way long to uh to to Spider Man one to Miles kind of thing. Um, there was definitely a lot to explore. So I think value wise, it was like you should definitely get this if you want to play Elden Ring. But I feel like I'm like I said. I feel like I'm just kind of done. These types of games, not really like the Elden Ring specifically. Um, I kind of miss Dark Souls. I kind of miss that like slower pace kind of like, methodical combat. The enemies here, especially in the DLC, were just very fast, very quick, and my character cannot respond. Because a lot of it is just kind of waiting to burn. Which, yeah, sure, it's fine, but it just wasn't, it wasn't the best. Um, I really hope after this, from soft uh, developers, try to do something else, like really, really outside of Elden Ring. I hope they explore, maybe even something slower. Here's, 
here's some of the issues that I have. I hate that there's consumables that don't like that I have to basically use and then it's gone forever and then I have to craft more. I think that's so <laughs> just give me a finite like a reusable finite source of them. I can even hold less of them. Like say, you know how I can hold like ten or so like pieces in my inventory? Give me two. But it always respawns every time I go to a fire. That would actually incentivize me to use them. I don't like using them when I'm not you know, when when I know that like I'm just like, oh if I die then it's just a oh, wait. It's just like I mean I know it's an internal problem, but I think a lot of people have this like Oh, we've got to save all these items for the end of the game, and then the end of the game, com game comes, and you're just, you just have all of these items. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I think some of the bosses, some of the bosses were good. I'll say that. I, and I did have a fun time like exploring everything, but I do feel like they have hit the upper limit of what a boss should be, types of game. They cannot go harder than that. With Radon, I was just like, no, I'm I'm summoning something. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. I'm not banging my head against a wall. And I, I as you can probably tell, I'm getting a little tired of this. Um, maybe it's because it's put 132.7 hours into the game. I am I'm done with it. I am excited. For, don't get me wrong. I'm excited for what they're going to do next, but this is just, it was a lot. It's like I'm tired of eating like an infinite sirloin steak, or um, I don't know, what's a really good one? I forget. Or wagyu beef. Like wagyu beef is great, but eventually you get tired of eating, even if it's that good. Um, but yeah, I think overall this is a great value add. Like the Shadow of the Earth Tree is a great value add to Elden Ring. Um, but I think there's some problems here and there. It's just fundamental problems with game design. And I hope they iterate on this in the future. I think I saw something from the game director saying that he wants to do something very different in the future, and I agree. I think all of the Dark Souls after Elden Ring, after the DLC, I think they should do something different. Whether it's I, I just hope I hope they take the the pain points from their past games and try to iterate on it to make it work better and see what did work and, and take that. Um, but overall, I gotta say this was it's incredible. Um, or way more than I thought it was going. I thought it was only gonna be a few bosses and then you're done, but there was a lot of bosses that you fight and a lot of story too. So I'm going to try to summarize the story of Shadow of the Tree. So <laughs> Mikola, Mikola hates the world, it, and it, we kind of like actually learn the most from an NPC, the Ymir Count Ymir. But basically, Count Ymir realizes that it doesn't matter who's eating, if it's Merica, if it's the dragons fingers is the greater will is the biggest issue i think it's the greater will is the biggest issue i don't know but whoever is leading the roots are the issue it doesn't matter who is in charge of everything because at the core it's awful he wanted to become the mother basically replacing marika replacing whoever the two fingers or whatever but I don't see how that would have changed anything if he thinks that it's the roots that are the issue. But tried. Like, I mean, maybe he just... Maybe he knows, but he wants to try anyway. I don't know. Um, but Mikola doesn't like the way of the world. Um, he's frustrated. He doesn't like... like you know, it's We keep on hearing kindly men Mikola and gentle Mikola. But we see that we see that he basically, um, we see that the world's a villain. 
terrible place. It's just full of conflict, fighting, infighting between all the family members. And he didn't like that. And so he built the Skadu tree. Um, oh, actually, before that, he built the Halic tree, I guess. Um, and then he had mind-controlled Moog. He thought, I was like, well, he's being really obsessive about his brother. He might be kind of rapey, who knows? But he actually got a bad rap. Mo was just mind-controlled by Mikula. And Mo helped Mikula go to the Land of Shadows, where I don't know why he wanted to go to the Land of Shadows. Maybe just to get away from all of bullshit and, you know, grab Radon and make him his consort. Maybe he wanted to get away to, like, that first. He had to sacrifice a lot of his body, and I don't understand the sacrifice part. I don't know why he had to remove parts of his body to be able to do that. And then there's the whole Mesmer aspect, where long before all of this, America had a son, Mesmer. She sent out to the Land of Shadows to kill off the horned um, the horn scent, which was part of her goal. Like, yeah, she doesn't like the horn scent, but she also, I don't think, liked Mesmer. Um, because all of her, like I've said before, all of her kids are cursed, and Mesmer's curse is that he has a serpent within him. And also fire. I, like, I know she doesn't like the serpent, but I think also the fire is what scares America the most with the Erd tree in um, she just doesn't want to risk it, and so I think she sent him there on a crusade, but she was obviously trying to get rid of him from the Lance Between, but also not just for the Serpent, but for the fire. And I don't know how Mesmer and Mikola interact, but somehow the Skadu tree was blocking off the area where Nicola was staying at, where 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 he dropped off his like the last of his, you know his fears, um of his body, whatever. But I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to like watch lore videos because it's so fucking confusing. But I think that's the general gist of the story, which I'm probably gonna like this much of a story that's like this much. But it's definitely difficult. Um, like part of me likes the way they tell stories, and it's just like it's just gameplay. If you want to just play the game, you can play the game. You don't have to listen to the story. But I wish, like, I wish it was a little, just a little bit more front and center. I wish you could fully understand the story without having to go through every single item in the game and make whole ideas of what the story is just from one sentence of an item. And I think, I think it's bad storytelling. I think it's bad storytelling if you go into a game, uh, if, if, say for example, you write something wrong in the item description. If people can't tell, oh, is that a mistake? Then your writing is too vague. You know what I mean? Like in Harry Potter, if J.K. Rowling wrote something that was completely nonsensical, that didn't make sense with the timeline, people would call her out instantly. But with this, you're just like, okay, well, we don't know when that happens. And basically, you can just make excuses because everything is so vague. That's not like, that's like such a crutch. And I know it's supposed to be because the game director used to. Um, the game director used to read uh, English fantasy books, and he had to fill in the blanks for a lot of like language that English language that he didn't know how to read. He's Japanese, so he was just read this stuff. He knew some English, but not all. So he just, yeah, like he understood bits and pieces of the story, but he didn't understand the whole overall story. That's why every Dark Souls and Elden Ring game feel like the story is just kind of like, wait, what's happening? Huh? It's because he didn't understand, but. I wish it would just be a little bit more front and center, and you didn't have to 
like I wish I could go, come away saying this is how Mesmer relates to Mikkel. But then if I wanted to understand a way more backstory, if I wanted to understand you know, motivations of side characters and where they're coming from, then I can look through items. I don't know. That's just my feelings on it. But yeah, I'll take a look at some lore videos. But um, <sighs> yeah, um, I hope you had a good time watching. Um, Definitely more coming down the pipeline. I've actually got a stockpile of some videos, so hope you enjoyed this too. But until then, my friends, see ya.